Welcome back to Cura. This is episode 6 where we're going to look into how to make sure that your build volume is the same size as your build plate and build area on your 3D printer. The first thing we need to do is add a printer and how we do that is by going to this little downwards triangle up here and left clicking and then going down to add printer. Under Add Printer, there is already a large selection of printers that are already registered with Cura. If you have one of these machines, all you have to do is make sure that you click the correct version, and your printer will be set up for you by adding printer. If you have a printer that isn't on these lists, what you need to do is go to Custom, Custom FDM Printer, and then name your printer. I'm going to call my printer Anna A8 as that is the printer I have and then click add printer. After you click add printer you will get machine settings come up. Now what's very important here is that you get the correct X, Y and Z sizes for your build area. These will be listed on your 3D printer, so the box that it came with will tell you the build volume, X, Y, and Z. For example, on the Anna A8, the build volume is 220 by 220 by 240. It is usually in that format, so it will be width, depth, and then height. The build plate shape is rectangular for my printer, however you can choose elliptic if it, your print plate is elliptic, but mine is rectangular. I'm not going to say that machine center is zero, because it is not, and I have a heated bed. It's very important that if you have a heated bed, that you click heated bed or your bed will not heat up automatically. You can also set the nozzle size for your 3D printer. If you know the nozzle size, you can enter it here, or you can enter it in the advanced settings actually in the Cura software and not on the setup. Underneath you have the start and the NG code. These are the instructions that the Cura is giving to the printer before it starts printing and once it finishes. These instructions here are just telling the printer to heat up, go to zero on all three axes, and then begin. And then once it finishes, go back to its starting location instead of just finishing just over the model. So once you have added your sizes, click finish, and you'll see that your 3D printer name has been added here and your build volume is of the correct size. Thank you for listening to my tutorial.